All right, and welcome back. In this video, we are going to be going through Chapter 5, Section 3, which is titled Theorems Involving Parallel Lines. By the end of this video, we should be able to apply theorems about parallel lines and the segment that joins the midpoints of two sides of a triangle. So with that in mind, please have out your guide and notes. Let's begin. So if three parallel lines cut off congruent segments on one transversal, then they cut off congruent segments on every transversal. So if we're given that line AB is parallel to line CD, which is parallel to line EF, and we know that segment AC is congruent to segment CE, then we can conclude that segment BD is congruent to segment DF. Since we have line BF is going to be a transversal cutting across these three parallel lines, the segments in between them are also going to be congruent because we knew that the two segments of line AE were congruent. Those are AC and CE. In example number one, we're given that segment MN is parallel to segment ST, which is parallel to segment YZ, and that segment MS is congruent to segment SY. If the length of NT is equal to X plus 6, and the length of NZ is 3X minus 8, we want to find the value of X, the length of NT, the length of TZ, and the length of NZ. So let's go through the solution together. Well, we know that the length of MS is equal to length of SY, or those two segments are congruent, which means that we're going to have NT is going to be congruent to TZ. And we also know that segment NT, if we add that length to the length of TZ, that's going to give us the entire length of NZ. So as we plug all this in, we're going to know that 3x minus 8, which is the length of nz, is equal to x plus 6 plus x plus 6. When we solve, we get that x is going to be 20. And we aren't just done yet. We had to find the value of x, and now we got to find the specific values and the lengths of nt, tz, and nz. Well, again, we knew that nt was equal to x plus 6. We substitute that in, we get 26. And we also know it's the same length as tz because those two segments are congruent. And lastly, NZ, we plug it in and we get 52 because double 26 is 52. With that in mind, please work on problems one through seven on the guide of notes and resume when you're ready to move forward. So a line that contains the midpoint of one side of a triangle and is parallel to the other side passes through the midpoint of the third side. So if M is the midpoint of segment XY, so again, if M is the midpoint of segment XY, and line MN is parallel to line YZ, then we're going to have N be the midpoint of that opposite side, XZ. So we can then conclude that N is going to be the midpoint again of side XZ. Let's put this into play here. So in example number two, we have to name all the points shown that must be midpoints of the sides of the large triangle. Well, let's look at what we have here. We are given that AM, that length, is, con is equal, pardon me, to the length of MB. We also know that segment MN is parallel to the base of that triangle, BC. Well, let's see how we can take that and apply it to our solution. Whoopsie daisy. Sorry about that, folks. Well, M has to be the midpoint, again, since we knew that AM is congruent to MB. M is the midpoint. And we're going to have that MN, as we said, was parallel to BC, which means that N is going to be the midpoint. And that's all that we can justify right now. If we had some more information, we may be able to say more. But given this diagram, that's all we are able to say. With that, please work on problems 8 through 10 on the guide notes and resume when you're ready to go forward. So we have this last theorem here. The segment that joins the midpoints of two sides of a triangle is one parallel to the third side and two is half as long as that third side. So if M is the midpoint of side XY or segment XY and N is the midpoint of the side XZ or segment XZ, then we're going to know that MN is parallel to YZ. So it means MN is parallel to YZ. And the length of MN is half the length of YZ. So if we put this into an example here, 
we are given that A and B are the midpoints of segment RS and segment RT. We know that at the length of ST is 4x plus 4, and the length of AB is x plus 40. We want to find the length of ST and the length of AB. Well, again, we know that AB is connecting those two midpoints, so it's going to be half the length of the length of ST. So we're going to plug in AB is equal to half of ST, and we're going to plug in all of our values here, and we're going to find that we have x plus 40 is equal to, again, half of 4x plus 4, and we get that x is equal to 38. We can then substitute that back in to find the exact length of AB, and AB was x plus 40, so we're going to end up with 78. Again, that happened. I'm so sorry here, folks. Sorry about that. And ST, we know is 4x plus 4. We substitute in the value of x. We get 4 times 38 plus 4, which gives us 156. Great job with this, folks. Thank you so much for bearing with me with those screen shades popping up. Sorry about that again. Please let us know if you have any questions. Keep making yourself proud. Again, if you have any questions, let us know. We'll talk to you soon.